this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you on departmental accounts. Observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Z Limited has three departments and submits the following information for the year ending on 31st of 2017. Purchases Department A, Unit 6000, 12000, 14400 Purchases 6 lakhs So purchases are given to you for all the departments together. So 6 lakhs is the total purchases for all the three departments. Sales units Sales price per unit 40, 4550 Closing stock in unit 600, 960, 360. Other expenses were salaries, printing and stationery, rent, interest paid, depreciation. Allocate rent in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. And other expenses in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, 1 is to 2 is to 3 is the ratio in which other expenses are required to be allocated. You are required to prepare departmental trading and trading account of Z Limited, assuming that the rate of profit on sale is uniform in each case. So rate of gross profit is uniform. On the basis of this uniform rate of gross profit, we can bifurcate this 6 lakhs rupees between department A, B and C. For that, first of all, I would like to prepare a working note. Just observe. So, calculation of cost of goods purchased for each department. For that, first of all, I write down the purchase number of units purchased. So, 6,000, 12,000, 14,400. So, these are the number of units purchased. Its total purchase price is 6 lakhs. So, 6 lakhs rupees are to be divided amongst these purchases. Now for the purpose of finding out or for the find, for the purpose of allocating the purchases to the department, I go by one presumption. Suppose that all these units are sold. If all these units are sold, then what happens? You will get the sales price of all the units. From that total sales price, I can deduct this total purchase price. So, I will get the gross profit. On the basis of that gross profit, I will find out the rate of gross profit. And that rate of gross profit is uniform, as I am told to you. Assuming that the gross profit is uniform. So, first of all, I will try to find out the uniform rate of gross profit. How to do that? For that, I go by presumption. All these purchase units are supposed they are being sold. So, what will be the sales price? So, sales price per unit is 40, 45, 50. So, 6,000 into 40, 12,000 into 45, 14,400 into 50. So, I will get the sales value of all units purchased. So, if I multiply 6, 4 are 24, 5 lakh 40,000 and here 7 lakh 20,000. So, this is the sales value of all the units purchased. Now, let me find out the total. Total is 15 lakhs. Now, what is the purchase amount? 6 lakhs. So, on the basis of that, I can find out the gross profit 9 lakhs. 9 lakhs is the gross profit on the sales of 15 lakhs. So, on the basis of that, I will find out the rate of gross profit which is uniform. So, 9 lakhs divided by 15 lakhs into 100. So, I will get the uniform rate of gross profit, 60%. So, 60% is the uniform rate of gross profit. Now, this sales value to like 40,000. To that, I apply 60% rate of gross profit. So, to like 40,000 multiplied by 60%. Here, I will get the gross profit. 5 lakh 40,000 multiplied by this rate of gross profit that I have found out, 60%. 7 lakh 20,000. Multiplied by 60%, 4 lakh 32,000. This is the gross profit. Now, this sales value minus gross profit, you will get the cost of purchase for department A. This is the cost of purchase for department B for all the units. This is the cost of purchase 
for department C that is of all the units of C because I have taken you all units purchased into calculation. So that works out to be how much? 96,000, 2,16,000 plus 2,80,000. If you make a total, that total will become 6 lakhs. Now, this is the cost of purchases divided by number of units purchased. So I will get the purchase price per unit. So 96,000 divided by 6,000. So per unit purchase price is 16 rupees. 2,16,000 divided by 12,000. Per unit purchase price is 18 rupees. 2,88,000 divided by 14,400. This is per unit purchase price. And total of all these purchases, if you calculate, that should become how much? 6 lakhs. So 96,000 plus 2,16,000 plus 2,88,000. That works out to be 6 lakhs. Now I have found out the purchase price. At this purchase price, the opening stock will be, will be valued. Closing stock also is going to be valued in that way. Let me write down this purchase price. For my reference, that purchase price for A, items purchased for department A, 16 rupees. For B, 18. For C, 20. Now I want to prepare the another working note. I am given the purchased units, closing stock units, sales units, but I am not given the opening stock units. I want, I am required to find out the number of units in the opening stock because I intend to prepare the trading account. So, calculation of the opening stock and units. How to find out the number of units in the opening stock? Sales units plus closing stock. That gives the all units available for sale including all units available for sales means opening stock plus purchases. So this is opening stock plus purchases minus purchase units. So you will get the opening stock units. So here I have found out the opening stock units. So opening stock is worked out. Let me write down this opening stock in a note so that I can prepare now trading account on the basis of this information. Now this is what I have already worked out by preparing the working note initially. Now let me start. Now First of all, opening stock 720 into 16 rupees is the purchase price. So opening stock is 720 into 16. Then 480 into 80 is the opening stock for department B. 612 into 20 is the opening stock for department C. Now purchase units also multiplied with this purchase price per unit. So purchase for department A, 6000 into 16. That for B. 12,000 into 18, then for C, 14,400 into 20, this is the purchases that I have recorded. After recording these purchases, I will write to, I would like to write down, see the total of these purchases I told to you, that works out to be how much? It works out to be exactly 6 lakhs. If you want to total it, you can total it. That I have also told to you while preparing the working note. Now, sales units multiplied by sales price that is recorded on the credit side of trading account. So, 6120 into 40 sales value of, for department A. This is the sales value for department B. This is the sales value for department C. Closing stock valued at cost 16 rupees for department A. 916 into 18 closing stock for B. Then 36 units are the units in stock. 20 is the price. This is the closing stock for department C. Now I can find out the gross profit. Total of credit side minus total of debit side. That works out to be gross profit. So gross profit 1,46,880 5,35,680 and here 7,49,520 So this is the gross profit that is transferred to the credit side of profit and loss account. Now let me allocate the expenses. Salaries to be distributed in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So salary 1 is to 2 is to 3. So 1 sixth of 28,200. Then comes 28,200 into 2 by 6. 
So this is the allocation of distribution of salary that is debited to profit and loss account. Next is printing and stationery that is also required to be distributed in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So 14,550 by 1 sixth, 14,550 by 2 sixth for department B, 14,550 into 3 by 6 for department C. Let me write on the debit side of profit and loss account. Then comes rent is to be distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. So 25,000 distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. 10,000, 10,000, 5,000. That is also debited to profit and loss account. Then comes interest paid. 1 is to 2 is to 3. 1 sixth. 11,730 into 2 by 6. 11,730 into 3 by 6. That is also debited to profit and loss account. Depreciation, same ratio, 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, this is how distribution of depreciation has taken place. And that is debited to profit and loss account. Now I can find out the net profit. So, total of credit side minus total of debit side, we will get the net profit. So, 1,46,880. Minus 4,700, 2425, 10,195, and 2940. That works out to be 1,24,860. Same way for department B. Cross profit is 2,77,000. Here for department C, 4,49,280. Minus all these expenses. So that works out to be 4,8,220. This is how net profit for each department is being worked out. So, for the purpose of explaining this sum, initially I prepared the working note. On the basis of this working note, I prepared department wise trading and profit and loss account. I have tried to explain you this sum. I would like, I would like to also demonstrate all the working notes that I have prepared on one slide that I am going to do right now. But, so far, this is how the net profit is being found out. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you, just observe the various working notes that I have prepared for solving the sum. So, these were prepared at the time of explaining the sum. It is presented at the end at one place for your better understanding. Thanks again to all of you.